How long does... <sighs> Try again. How long does a typical FANG worker keep their job? FANG, of course, is the big tech companies, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. Although this may be shifting, I think uh, Facebook is now meta, so it might be MAG, MANG company. Anyway, how long does a typical FANG employee, developer employee, last in their job? They get paid big money, but how long is that job around? Short answer is a FANG employee typically lasts about two to three years. I hear two and a half years. That's it, buddy. Why is it so short? Well, because the FANGies, they, uh, they pay you a lot, but they work you. It's long hours, a lot of work. So you're going to be earning your cash. You're going to be earning your cash. Also, another consideration is that if you were, are working for a FANG in a very expensive city, eh, that big money may not be so, uh, so big when you consider the cost of living. So you got to look at that as well. Although more and more of the FANGs and many other companies are being, they're much more accepting of people working remotely, which is a, a beautiful thing. The ideal situation for a developer or anybody really is to have a high paying job and you live in an area where the cost of living is low. You can do it within a country, like for example, in the US, maybe you got a high paying job which uh, at a fang or any coding company really and you live uh, in a nice town in the middle of the u.s maybe you so some inexpensive place in arizona or wherever it happens to be rather than living in very expensive florida or, or not florida not well miami is pretty expensive very expensive california very expensive new york or very very expensive chicago you'd be better off to live outside of these hubs that are going to cost you a fortune and just work remotely. That's the ideal situation. Anyway, fang jobs, aspirational jobs, of course, but, but you have to be very careful about that. You have to consider how long those jobs typically last, two and a half years. I guess there's a lot of burnout. And you have to also look at the cost of living associated with working at these places. One guy, guy I spoke to a few years back, and he was telling me how he lived in... Uh, Somewhere in the, you know, the middle of the U.S. And he lived in a small town. At the time, he said he bought his house for like for like sixty thousand, which is inexpensive. Same type of house in, you know, California would probably cost you ten times that, if not more. But he was making about two hundred k a year as a freelance web developer. Fantastic! So he was able to buy his house like this. Boom. He was able to uh, save a ton of money. He's living the life of uh, you know. He's living the life. He's living the life. That's a great thing about the U.S. You can fly anywhere for, for pretty cheap. So if you live in a small, uh, inexpensive part of the U.S., you can just fly to Vegas for a weekend, fly to uh, you know, Miami for a weekend for a hundred bucks. You know, might be might be a way to go. Now this works across countries, of course. You know, maybe you you know you can move down to Mexico, live in an inexpensive area of Mexico or wherever else, and and just live. A really good life where the cost of living is low but because you are a tech worker you have tremendous opportunity to be able to earn tech worker money without having to pay uh, the big big cost of living in uh, in a new york in a chicago in a miami in a, you know you get the idea all right hope this is useful bye-bye